My name is Deirdre Lillis. Um, I'm the head of School of Computing here in Dublin Institute of Technology. Um, and I'd just like to thank everybody for coming and for, for showing interest. And hopefully we'll, um, we'll find ways to work together going forward. Um, and I think this is a, a particularly exciting project for us. Um, we, here in DIT, we work we, we pride ourselves in working closely with industry. We like to think we give our students um, a real world experience. Um, and I think what we're hoping from, from this project really is that we can get more access to real world ideas and the companies that we work with then can have more access to our graduates, you know, to build that interface and, and build those connections. Um, so that's really the essence of the project that we, that we have here. Um, just to tell you a little bit about it, um, it was funded under one of the European uh, Union programs, um, the Knowledge Alliance program, and the core of it is trying to strengthen Europe's uh, software innovation capacity. It, the idea, I suppose, stemmed from a report that was done uh, maybe about two years ago at this stage, where the capacity for ICT across Europe was mapped, you know, in terms of areas, areas and regions that were particularly strong in ICT. Had they, you know, were there a lot of people employed in ICT companies? Was there a lot of innovation and patents, a lot of research going on, um, uh, a lot of, uh, you know, the percentage of the workforce that would be employed in, in ICT type roles. Um, and that's the map that they came up with uh, in terms of the regions in Europe that were strongest in, in ICT capacity. I suppose from a selfish perspective here in Dublin, we rank very highly on foreign direct investment. I think everybody from Dublin would be familiar with um, you know, the large maybe US multinational um, foreign direct investment base we have here. Um, so we rank quite highly on that. But for us, I think it was a wake up call because we rank quite lowly, low, sorry, in, in software innovation. Um, so we're not doing as much as we could be doing in the whole area of, um, you know, developing new products, new services, not just in ICT, but in, in various different industries. You know, there's, there's huge potential in agriculture, in tourism, in all the other sectors that Ireland is strong in. So that was the wake up call for us, I think, here. And I, um, that's really where the, the idea for this project came from. So the, the, the core of what we're at um, as part of this is, uh, to basically look at how universities work with industry in these regions, in the top regions in Europe. Hopefully that's an indicator of, of best practice. You know, if you go to, uh, to uh, London, to Paris, to Frankfurt, to Milan, to Dublin, to Sweden, to Finland, and to Korea, you know, looking to see what's working really well for those regions and learning from that so that we can, you know, develop best practice. So that's pretty much at the core of what we're doing. For us as a, as a computer science faculty, we really want to be able to produce graduates that can work globally, they can work in any um, culture, in any time zone, um, on any sort of project that can work in any sector as well, that they're not just focused on pure technology, that they can go out and talk to people um, in companies that are not ICT companies, maybe that uh, people have an idea where ICT could help their business. Um, but there is a language barrier there sometimes, you know, that the, the technical, the real strong technical language um, versus the business need isn't always bridged, you know. So what we're trying to do and for us, that's probably the reason we, we got involved in this project was we can develop that kind of skill set in our graduates. Um, again, learning, learning uh, from best practice internationally. So the core really of, of this project is what this seminar is about today, um, which is what are the different ways we can work with companies? Um, you know, ideally, um, 
I, actually a colleague of mine likened it um, at the beginning. We don't want big sort of chain link fences or big strong links. We want lots of small interactions. He, he likened it to a Velcro type interface that, you know, it's not a huge deal for the company. It's not a big investment of resources. It's not, you know, we're not looking for, for cash or monetary contributions or, um, you know, for somebody to give up a lot of time. Um, on the other hand, we're probably offering up students that can do so much, you know, but not necessarily everything you're expecting, you know. So what we're trying to do is come up with this sort of light touch interface where maybe you can try something out. Um, you know, you can, at the end of the project, you can decide then is, is this worth uh, pursuing more professionally and, and further? Um, does it need more research? Is it was it not worth anything at the end of the day? So it's it's to develop that sort of light touch, low cost, low commitment model um, that that promotes interaction between um, industry and and ourselves. And the partnership for our Hublinked, um, it's a European project, so you have to obviously European partners, and we're delighted that uh, they're all here in Dublin, uh, have been here on Wednesday and Thursday as part of our first project team meeting. Um, so that will give you an indication of, of the people involved in this. Um, we have uh, partners in Germany, um, in, in Paris, uh, in Olu in Finland, which is a very strong innovation region in, in Finland, um, in Maladuran, sorry, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, in Sweden, um, in Ljubljana, in, in Slovenia. Um, and then we have um, uh, SAP here, which is a European multinational, the, the subsidiary is in City West. Um, and we're delighted we have the Irish SME Association, and I know some of um, ISME's members are here today, so um, that's, that's a particular focus for this project, um, is, is maybe non-software SMEs, and how can, we, how can we begin that conversation to get th those sort of real-world ideas influencing our curriculum and maybe being able to, to work and work those up into prototypes that can be taken taken on further then. Um, so that, that's the gist of what we're doing. We have a partner in Milan in Italy who's a huge experience in uh, European projects and we also have the European Business Network. Um, it's based in Brussels but it has a European um, remit um, and that provides supports to incubators and uh, SMEs um, and startups throughout Europe. So they have a wealth of expertise um, in this area we're hoping to draw on. And we also have the, the, the most air miles clocked up would be from our partners in uh, uh, Kyungbuk University in uh, Korea, in, in Daegu. Um, Korea is the world's leading ICT sector. If you look at any of the, the, the league tables, um, they, uh, they, they kind of, ha they rank on, you know, probably first or second in, in every key indicator. Um, and, you know, the, I suppose the brands that we'd be familiar here would be the likes of Samsung and LG and Hyundai, you know, there's huge multinationals, they're very much a multinational focus. Um, but they have the same um, issues as ourselves, which is trying to promote SMEs, you know, um, uh, uh, as part of this. So that's us, that's, that's Hublinked, um, and we we're, we're sort of set the ship sailing um, this week. Um, so over the next uh, probably three years, um, we'll, be, uh, we'll be working just to get that interface between uh, universities and industry, you know, as, as cohesive and as efficient and as effective and as value adding as possible. Um, and um, I suppose the the speakers we have today then are all around that topic, um, coming at it from very different perspectives, which I think is great. It'll add value uh, significantly. So our first speaker this morning is uh, Kiron O'Leary. Um, Kiron is our head of learning development uh, here in the College of Sciences and Health. Kiron does a huge amount of work in what we call engagement, which is basically how do we work with the wider community, be it industry, be it community groups, be it charities. Um, we do a lot of work here in the school on assistive technology with, with some um, uh, charitable organizations like uh, St. John of God's and that. And Kiron um, has worked extensively in this area. So he's going to give us an overview of um, all the different ways um, DIT in particular engages with, with companies and industry. Okay.